Hey guys, HMK here once again with another hypothetical video. Yes, hypotheticals. Theories that's supposed to get you hyped. Anyways, it's about Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And the question is, where is everyone? Is everyone dead? Is everyone gone? Is there a small group of people? Are there small little villages scattered around Hyrule? Where is everyone? Now before I get into the real meat of this video, I gotta put in that big disclaimer. Yes, there will be people, there will be villages in Breath of the Wild. From everything we've seen and everything we've played in terms of demos, gameplay, and trailers and whatnot, Nintendo said that they took villages and people, a lot of people, out of what we see of the game because their inclusion in Breath of the Wild is something that lulls the narrative along. Meaning that if you go to a village or if you talk to people that you see, that's what pushes the story along, makes you find out what happens to Hyrule. And in order to not to spoil the story, they took those elements, those people, those villages, out of everything we can interact with when it turn when it comes to Breath of the Wild, including trailers and gameplay demos and all that good jazz. But now that we got that out of the way, the story of Breath of the Wild is that after 100 years, the Calamity Gang was sealed in Hyrule Castle after devastating Hyrule. That the nature and the world, you know, the plants and everything took back the land. And of course, we saw little settlements of monsters, vocal blends, moblins. Whatever those monsters are, mostly vocal blends, because we, we see vocal blends, style vocal blends, and that big ass bubbling from the Switch trailer, and that weird snout thing. Everything we've seen it comes to, when it comes to an enemy has had a snout, and we've had other things like Keeses and Guardians and Mini Guardians and whatnot. But like most of the organic enemies have been enemies we've seen before in Zelda that has taken back the land in terms of settlements that we see every now and again on the Great Plateau. Now, the question is that I, you know, I keep thinking about when it comes to this is that if nature took back the land and 100 years have passed, that means humanity in terms of the Zelda series have been excruciatingly devastated to the point where they couldn't rebuild to a certain degree in Hyrule even though the land is intact for the most part. You know, the bridges have rotted away, buildings have fallen, we've seen nothing of any type of, you know, human interaction when it comes to the land. Even though humans and villages have been taken away from the thing, we would have seen something, especially looking at all the artwork and looking off the Great Plateau and gameplay demos and trailers and stuff, we would have seen something, right? But no, all we see in the Zelda world, Hyrule, has been rare and tear. So that begs the question, how badly did humans get manhandled by Calamity Ganon? Now, a lot of people still believe that this game takes place in the downfall timeline, which would, you know, coincide with the loss of humanity. You know, humans and Hylaeans and Gerudos and Korkiris or whatever, they've dwindled down to a very low degree. And that's what the downfall timeline is about. You know, once we get to the original legends of the game, like humanity was like so to the was like at the brink of extinction to the point where they had to hide in caves from all the monsters and all of the things that we see out in Hyrule and whatnot. And then in Zelda 2, that's when you start to see villages come back, rebuild, blah 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 blah. And they can come out in the open since Ganon has been defeated, but there are still monsters out there. And you know, all that good jazz. But when we're looking at this, this seems a bit more serious than what the downfall from what we've seen in the downfall timeline. Because in other timelines, including the Wind Waker timeline, the adult timeline, we've seen that you know Hyrule being devastated to a point where Hyrule cannot come back, being flooded, yet there are a good amount of humans on the islands scattered across the Great Sea in the Wind Waker. You know, we there was there was humanity, they were there, they built it, all that stuff. And, um, you know, people like to, uh, what do you call it, argue that, oh, Wind Waker took place 100 years after uh, Ocarina of Time in the adult timeline, same way as Twilight Princess took 100 years after um, the child timeline, after Hyrule, after Ocarina of Time and whatnot. But when it comes to the legends fading and rebuilding and all of that stuff, when it comes to Breath of the Wild, it's just simply not there from what we've seen. Yet, granted, we've only seen the entirety of the Great Plateau. And we've only seen glimpses of what is beyond that. But even still, from a distance, from what people have been seeing and everything, we would have seen some sort of, you know, like, 
proof of humans trying to rebuild what they've lost in like in the hundred years since Calamity began decided to fuck up Hyrule. So that really boils down to the question how many humans are, are left if any are left. You know, because it, it's there's no doubt about it, Breath of the Wild does give that, you know, post-apocalyptic vibe in the way the Zelda series could. You know, there's been a lot of post-apocalyptic games like Fallout and Borderlands and ev like everything when it comes to post-apocalyptic is, you know, usually like post-nuclear war and everything's like brown and dead. But in Breath of the Wild, Hyrule, yeah, you know, nature has reclaimed the earth. Everything is still green. There's still a very small colors, different regions, desert, mountain, plains. Everything seems to be intact. It's like Hyrule is not truly devastating in a, in a sense that, you know, dang, you see craters everywhere. But what we do see is that everything that we've seen that has been built by some sort of, you know, human race in uh, the Legend of Zelda series in Breath of the Wild has been torn down. Everything has been rusted, broken up. The Temple of Time is in ruin. From what we see from the distance of Hyrule Castle, that thing seems pretty messed up and we can see signs of what used to be buildings torn down by god knows what you know a lot of people want to go ahead and think that the guardians did it under the control of calamity ganon or just calamity ganon just did everything like there are hardly any buildings that we can see from what we've seen in breath of the wild everything that's been built that remains intact that we've seen are the sheikah shrines and the sheikah towers which also makes you wonder and one thing I'm glad about in Breath of the Wild is that we've hardly seen everything when it comes to the land of Hyrule because this is going to be huge. But the question that we also have to ask is that if the humans really do exist like Nintendo is alluding they are, as well as the villages, where are they exactly? How big will these communities be? Will they be small? They'll just scatter around the world and stuff. Will it be like, you know, three buildings, three makeshift towers, not even towers, just like small huts made out of stone and straw is that what we're gonna see when it comes to villages and what will they truly you know help us with because Nintendo did confirm that synthesis is gonna be a thing and that you can make certain combinations of food and items into dinners and other things we don't know all we've seen is the cooking mechanic and then at the same time where you can cook is like random scattered around Hyrule and Breath of the Wild like those pots that you can just cook in they're just like anywhere is it something in the random place? I'm like, hey, okay, cool. Now we can cook here. Bomb. But, like, what true purpose other than story progression will these villages serve? And if so, how many are there Are there going to be? The biggest vibe I'm getting from Breath of the Wild when it comes to interaction with other characters, NPCs, and whatnot, is the voice in Link's head and the old man. And I really believe that there's hardly going to be any type of humans or any type of other characters in Breath of the Wild. It's going to be a very lonely, a very intimate adventure. Like, you know, to the point where it's almost like Skyward Sword, but there's no Skyloft. There's no home to return to. Link literally came from out of a cave in the Shrine of Resurrection. He has no family. He has no friends. He has no nothing to go back to. Except that shrine. And the Sheikah Slate, if that's where you want to friend. But everything we've seen in the game just points to the fact that humans will be nigh non-existent in Breath of the Wild, which is very scary and it's very, you know, depressing to think about, but it's definitely a big change in a big way to the, you know, conventions of Zelda. Sure, we have the old man and Nintendo says there's gonna be villagers out there, but from what we've seen, it ain't looking good for humanity in terms of Breath of the Wild, even those, like, the voice in your head is like, Oh yeah, you must be the light to shut up on Hyrule again. Okay, then then what? There's still gonna be monsters. Uh, the Guardians, we don't know if the Guardians are still gonna go rampant after you defeat the Calamity Ganon. So I mean, how long will it take for Hyrule and humanity to get back on its feet? That's the question that I wanna pose to you guys in this hypothetical. Where do you think the humans are? Do you think there's a lot of them? Do you think there's a small portion of them? Do you think they're completely wiped out and that Link is the only one left? Along with the old man, if he is a human or not. There's a lot of things Nintendo and this game isn't telling us. And that's a good thing, but at the same time, it seems to be pointing to a very sad thing. So leave your thoughts on this hypothetical in the comment section below about 
humanity and where they could be in Breath of the Wild. So until the next Zelda video, I've been HMK. I'll check you guys later.